13K Productions, along with the Man K Sports Podcast, with your host, Wild Carmar presents Wild Stats. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? It's your boy Wildcard Mar, and you are tuned into another edition of Wild Stats. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, sir. Ha <laughs> ha. But let me ask you this, y'all. When I say the names Gino Oriema, John Wooden, Bill Belichick, what pops into your mind? I know what pops into my mind. I think of great coaches that are part of dynasties. Well, you need to add one more name to that list. Patty Gasso. Yes. And if you don't know who Miss Patty Gasso is, well, well, you need to do your research. She is the head coach of the softball team for the University of Oklahoma. And those ladies are making history. They are doing dynasty type ish in the world of softball. And damn it, the world needs to wake up and put some respect on on Patty Gasso's name in Oklahoma Sooner softball because Miss Patty Gasso got these ladies doing fantastic things under her tenure. I mean, just listen to this, guys. She has appeared with her university and her program has appeared in 16 of the last 23 Women's College World Series. Did you hear that? 16 out of 23. So since 2000, even to this past Women's College World Series, she and her university has appeared in 16 of them. Oh, and they've won seven of them, including this recent national championship, 2000, 2013, 2016, 2017, 2021 2022 and of course 2023 now if you heard those last three years yes this recent national championship makes it a three-peat you don't see a lot of three-peats in sports you don't it doesn't happen often and they did it in style this year 61 and one record i mean my goodness near perfect near perfect they were undefeated at home 19 and 0 14 and 1 on the road and hey you can't beat them on the road you can't beat them on home you damn sure can't beat them on neutral sites because they went 28 and 0 on neutral sites they haven't lost since february 19th back to the baylor bears i mean it's miraculous this is something you don't see and not only did they three-peat, they finished the year breaking a record of having 53 consecutive wins. And that active streak, that win streak is still active. So when they start the season next year, it's going to be the talk of the softball world. Who's going to be able to break the streak? But check this out. Not only are they winning national championships, consistently in championship picture but this year made it so special listen to this your team batting average was 366 while only allowing an opponent batting average of 162 so let's translate into runs into scoring the lady sooner scored on the year 501 runs only giving up 59 I know a lot of stats I'm I'm breaking down to you, but let's break down even more on that. So in essence, the Lady Sooners per game were scoring eight runs and only allowing one. So not only were they dominating on the hitting side, damn it, they were dominating on the pitching side. They were phenomenal this year. The Lady Sooners and Patty Gasso are a phenomenal program. And yes, they belong in the damn dynasty conversation. Put her name up there and put the Lady Sooners up there. 
this dominance of last 23 years is remarkable. If we put that same pedestal on the Patriots from that run of 2000 for the 20 years that they had six championships, this is just as impressive. It is. And we must put some respect on the lady Sooners. This is something that you don't see on a regular basis. And I'm glad to see it. And I'm here for it. Anyway, y'all, let's shut the door on this but before we do. Make sure y'all tap in with all of 613 Fade Productions content. Content dropping Friday, Saturday, Sunday. A full tilt of weekend content from 613 Fade Productions. Make sure you tap in on the YouTube channel. Hey, I'm the Wild Card Ma. Hey, and that's another episode of Wild Stats and I'ma shut the stat book on y'all today. Peace and love, y'all. Holla at y'all.